I get a fantastic buzz out of Treasury, love it. I uh, can only think back to when I started and I came from having done my MBA, having come from a scientific background and I had my first day in my job in Treasury team at BICC and I sat down next to the dealer and, and he was borrowing £20 million in one go on the phone, deal done, slam down. These were numbers I'd never even heard of or thought about. Now we're talking over 20 years ago. Now you're probably talking a couple of billion when you're doing some of these transactions. There's a fantastic buzz. You can just do so much so quickly and, and really make a difference to a company. The, the really good thing about Treasury is that you're at the centre of things. So you get an awful lot of exposure to um, the board. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously very interested in how the group is funded and, and risk management. Um, so you get exposure to the board, you get exposure to um, the centre of what's going on, you know, the strategy of, of a group. So you know, it's very important if you're doing things like acquisitions that you've got your treasury team on board ready to finance them. So you, you just get involved at a very high level. It's a, it's a very quick way to um, get to understand what an organisation actually does because you're so central to it. Yes, there are many things that I enjoy in the treasury position, but what I like the best is the relationships with the banks. And uh, it's very important for a treasurer to have some relationship with the banks because you daily deal with the banks and, uh, and I think it's very interesting. And uh, in addition, I'm very interested in technology and it's important in uh, our world to know about technology and IT developments and application and how can we improve uh, the cash management with the technology and uh, I think it's very, very interesting in uh, nowadays. It's a people business too. You get to deal with a great number of stakeholders in the business that other parts of, of an organisation don't tend to or don't often have an interaction with. So whether it's bankers, customers, suppliers, management, shareholders, investors, there's a whole universe of people that treasuries acquire skills in dealing with. It's very problem solving, it's very real and you're, you're very close to what the business is, is doing. It's a lot more forward thinking than perhaps um, some of the other the sort of uh, the finance type roles that perhaps look a little bit more about at mm. historical um, results whereas we tend to look a lot more forward. The Treasury tends to be in um, in large companies, so multinationals, FTSE 100, Fortune 500, but also in some of the, um, the smaller uh, organisations which are, are growth orientated, so very entrepreneurial, a lot of private equity involvement as well. So again, I mean, Treasury really is, is everywhere, um, and, and I think that's the message to get across that it's not this very um, niche white tower area, it really spreads across all businesses and I think to have an understanding of Treasury and its issues is hugely valuable for, you know, for any graduate or anyone studying so further along. You know. I would say in Treasury you're looking forwards, you're looking at what the business is going to be doing over the next six months, twelve months, five years, even ten years. Accountants tend to say, what have we done in the past year? Okay, yes, they're going to do budgets and numbers, but in Treasury, you're not just looking at the numbers, you're looking at what the business is going to do and how you can manage that overall process. Uh, every day is different because you receive very lot of demand from the subsidiaries from everywhere in the world, so every day is different, even if you have uh, the same tasks to, to do uh, every day. But yeah, I mean, I think if you look across um, the sort of FTSE 100 boards, you'd see that perhaps quite a lot of the um, CFOs and CEOs have, uh, have actually got Treasury experience. I mean, certainly exposure to the city is a really key criteria when you're looking at um, a board position. So, you know, and, that, and Treasury does give you that. So I think it's a great springboard. And it's a, because you, you're at the centre of the group, um, you get to see an awful lot of it and uh, you know, get to understand about what the other roles around a, a group would be. I think our challenge is to make sure that we get these messages across to people because many people going into take their um, graduate career are really not quite sure what finance is all about, let alone treasury. And I think we've got a job to do to make sure that people understand how sexy and interesting that is um, and really how much value they can add and how much fun they can have and how their um, career can be on an international stage, 
across different business sectors, uh, working in different departments, uh, working for all sorts of different types of people on real critical business issues, um, be able to switch on the telly when they go home and realise they were right in the middle of whatever crisis there was there and they were making a difference for their organisation on a day-to-day -day basis.